What's going on guys? It's Nick Smuts here from VRI Homes and the N Smuts Realty Group here at the famous Drew's Bayshore Bistro in Keyport, New Jersey, doing another hometown hotspots interview. Can't wait to do this. The food's amazing here. It's always a great experience. So let's get on there and meet Drew and check it out. All right, guys, we're here with someone that really needs no introduction along the, the Jersey Shore, uh, the owner of this awesome establishment, Drew's Bayshore Bistro, Mr. Drew himself. Thanks for having us, Drew. Thanks, Nick. Yeah, Thanks for having me. Yeah, so, I mean, let's get right into it. You know, tell us a little bit about Drew's, uh, its origins, uh, and how long you've been here and what. Well, how long we've been here, we've only been here since uh, Valentine's Day of this year. This five. Yeah, but it's our fourth location in town, and we've been in town for 18 years. Would you say this is your favorite spot yet? So far. Yeah. I, I, would, I would tend to agree with that. I mean, yeah, I think that this is also probably the coolest looking location out of the bunch that you've had. It's a lot more personal uh, with, you know, kind of the, the open kitchen back there and people could kind of watch you guys do your thing. So uh, yeah, tell me a little bit about kind of where you get your inspiration from because you kind of have a different flair with your cooking here. For sure, yeah, Cajun. Yeah. Call it what it is, Cajun Creole, but more, I'd say being more Cajun. Just my parents traveled around the country and they went to New Orleans and they gave me a cookbook from Paul Prudhomme and I, that was it, I was hooked. Spicy food, wow, you know what I mean? And I just kind of got into it and from then on I've just been a fan of that type of food. Uh, along with every other type of food, but just that one kind of <laughs> spoke to me the most. What, what would you say are some of your most popular dishes? Uh, definitely the voodoo shrimp. Oh, that's, that's, that's the go-to, the go-to, but regardless of what you're ordering. You have to get the voodoo shrimp. Shrimp and grits is always on the menu. It's very popular. Uh, jambalaya. Jambalaya is the only dish that's been on the menu since day one and hasn't been removed or you know replaced or swapped oh, out. Cool. So what are some of the things that you're most proud about? About whether it be you know your restaurant, the food itself, and, and even the staff that I know, a lot of them have been with you for you know a long time and they're awesome people. The majority of them have been here for years. I've got a bunch that have been here for at least 17 years. Um, I'm really proud of the fact that my son's my sous chef now. He's also Drew, so <laughs> when I hang him up, it's still going to be Drew's face or bistro. He's ready to take it over. It's going to be his place. And, and aside from the creativity, something I've always loved about, about your restaurant is the atmosphere itself. Uh, like I said, it has that, that personal feel, but something that I always love is you always have classic rock playing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's always a pleasure talking with you. You guys have to stop in here. If you've never been here, you're not going to be disappointed. Uh, it, it's some of the best food you can find along the shore, uh, especially for something as different as, you know, Cajun and Southern flair. I mean, this is the spot to be. Uh, so thank you, Drew, thank as you always, brother. Much. Always a pleasure. It. All right, guys, I couldn't be the one to have all the fun here. I had to let our producer, our cameraman, the main man, the myth, the man, the legend, Carlo, get in on a little of this action with us. Doing a little food tasting over here at Drew's with some of their most popular dishes. We got the voodoo shrimp appetizer and the southern fried calamari appetizer. So yeah, let's just try it out. All right, let's just dive on in. Okay, this one was the... The voodoo shrimp. It's got the shrimp, the cornbread, cherry tomatoes. The flavor is unbelievable in the voodoo shrimp. It's rich, deep, a lot of different things going on. If you're a fan of curry, the voodoo shrimp kind of has a lot of that uh, that curry texture, taste, and uh, you know, it curry is very rich and deep with a bunch of different flavors and spices. And that's exactly what the voodoo shrimp is. It's phenomenal. I feel like this shrimp swam across the ocean just to be delicious <laughs> for us today. I, I would have to agree with that. All right, let's try this calamari. Mmm. How's that? The zest and the crunch on this and the flavor is... I gotta find out what kind of sauce this is. This is very good. What is that? Oh. What is this? It looks phenomenal. Panzanala salad. Look at those greens. <laughs> Look at those greens. Um, there's like a number of different things in here that look incredibly fresh and amazing. Yes, it looks like a mix yes, of vegetables. Let's yep. dive into it. Oh, I'm making a mess. This looks like they, they grew it in a garden out back. I'm just gonna 
dive into this. Wow. As expected, everything in this is ridiculously fresh. Excellent rabbit food. I feel like if you have bistro in your name, you have to be really good. <laughs> yeah. You can't just throw that in your name and not deliver. Like, if you have bistro in it, like almost every bistro I've ever been to is phenomenal. Well, we're about to see how Juice Bistro's bistro. Oh, it, it, it bistro goes. <laughs> it bistro. When I, yeah. when I came in earlier to meet up with Drew to talk about the, the episode, he was down there butchering stuff. Oh, really? He was actually there with the whole butcher apron with a big ass cleaver. Oh, shit. He, was he does all the work, man. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, wow. These are the All right, okay. Any black pepper? Uh, no, I think we're, I think we're good. good. Thank you. I yeah, let me get this one on top. Wow, I can't even describe that consistency. <laughs> How do you even describe I'm it? I'm not even a, a big oyster fan. That though, makes me an oyster fan. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. That was just like stunned silence yeah. right there. <laughs> Good god. The pork in that melts in your mouth. I've had it, Hoss. I think you would have stabbed my finger if I went for that last one. <laughs> Probably would have. <laughs> One thing for certain, is that Drew knows how to bistro. Drew knows how to bistro. Oh, wow. 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 All right. I did some time in North Carolina, so I am quite partial about shipping grits. So juicy, so tender. Flavor is off the charts. Bravo. I'm back in North Carolina. Huh. <laughs> this food's got me sweating. Uh, I'm literally... <laughs> I could feel the drips going down my face right now. Essential. Mm. Amazing as always. I'm stuff um, dripping sweat from the amount of food I just consumed <laughs> as always Drew's delivers uh, you will never be disappointed coming here truly amazing food so different uh, so rich and deep with fresh ingredients uh, and it, it's just an experience honestly to come here all right guys that's a wrap here at Drew's Bay Shore B show as you can see food's incredible I'm stuffed I'm sweating I need to go home, I need a shower, because the food sweats are out of control here. You saw what it is. Drew is an amazing human being, loves what he does, puts all of his passion and creativity into his restaurant, into his food. You'll never be disappointed coming here. So be sure to come on in, meet Drew, enjoy the food. Take care, guys.